Let's talk editing software, shall we? Now I get this question a lot. Jory, what editing software do you use? I use Adobe Premiere Pro, mainly because I learned how to edit using Final Cut Pro, and uh, then I got a PC. And Final Cut doesn't work on PCs. Let's put that. That might not make much sense to you if you've never used Adobe Premiere and Final Cut, but they're near identical. Unless you use a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but I don't. Which is why I'll never make a lot of money doing what I do. Why I'll never Which is why I'll make a lot of money doing what I do. But I can tell most of the people don't ask what software I use because they're just curious. They want to know what software they should use. And that all depends, really. There are three programs I would recommend. The first is Premiere Pro. The second is Final Cut Pro, and the third is Avid. Now, I've never used Avid, but a couple of my friends who work in the industry use Avid for both television and movies. So, it must be good. And when I was attending Emerson College, they taught us how to use Final Cut. So, that must mean something. And then if you're using a PC, which I'm sure a lot of you are, I recommend Premiere Pro. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking, Jory, I cannot afford these programs. And that's true, they're expensive as f oh. So I'm only going to talk about Premiere Pro because that's what I use and got. The first way to get it for cheaper is go to Academic Superstore and possibly you can get a student discount on it. I assume a lot of you are students. This makes the Adobe Creative Suite production premium thing like $400 I think. And that's a lot cheaper than like $2,000. But if you still don't have the money for that, I recommend you use these things that I heard of once possibly called torrents. So you download that and then you download the actual program install it on your computer. Now I recommend you do that instead of using one of the cheap alternatives like iMovie or the free alternative Windows Movie Maker because if you are really adamant about wanting to edit stuff and you are training yourself on iMovie or Movie Maker, that's just lost time. It won't contribute to anything except maybe some ideas of how to edit but even then you have to break out like a calculator to figure out how to do an L cut. So download the software, see if you like using it, and then eventually if you are really serious about all this stuff then you should buy the software. Now I don't know for sure but I assume that these software manufacturers would prefer that you steal it and then eventually buy it rather than not buying their software at all. So use the software, edit a bunch of videos, post them on YouTube, maybe make some money and then buy the software Everyone will be happy, right? I think so. So I'll talk to you guys later. That was my tip.